So what exactly are we doing here? Energy signals. What about them? Lots of antimatter energy signals. What are you on about? Strange. Artron energy. Doc, are you even listening to me? Oh yes. Hello, Brigadier. Sorry, a lot on my mind. I'm not a Brigadier. At least, not yet. I've only just joined unit. Sorry, Sam. You remind me of your grandfather. Well, your mother too. You left Bridge Stewarts are all the same. Well, well, what? Well, I've been travelling with you for a whole five weeks now, and you haven't answered any of my questions. Oh, uh, What now? My sonic screwdriver was picking up some strange antimatter signals and a hint of Artron energy. It seems fine. Hopefully, probably, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Right. Let's get back to the TARDIS. So these signals, are there anything to worry about? No, it'll be fine. Okay, good. Do we need to get unit involved? No! A little anticlimax is good for my heart every once in a while. You were saying? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Yes, she is. She's not my doctor. Oh, I hate it when people say that. It's me, I promise. Why do you look so different? I'm a Time Lord. Whenever I'm on the brink of death, I have the ability to survive by changing my body. Right. How did you end up here? I haven't seen you in years. Well, I was with the doctor. No, stop. There's a bigger question that needs solving right now. Who and what caused that black hole? <laughs> You're 
You have some nerve showing your face around here. Now, now. You honestly thought you could destroy our home planet, Gallifrey, and get away with it? <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> I want to congratulate you. Well done. Gold star. Five points. Congratulate us? For what? You survived! I'm impressed. I would have thought when I burnt Gallifrey to the ground, I would have wiped out the entire Time Lord species. Yet, here you are. Well, evidently, you're not as powerful as you thought. Oh. Are you the only survivors? Yes, that we know of, but you will pay for your... Get him! He shall stand trial. Don't kill him. Stop right there. Lay down your weapon and no one will be harmed. We don't want to hear you. This is your last chance. If I ever saw you again, I'd kill you on the spot. Do it! Do it! Kill me! Watch the life drain out of my beautiful eyes! <laughs> Be quiet! Silence! <laughs> you will pay for your crimes! <laughs> she gave you a choice and you murdered her. Give me one good reason I shouldn't shoot you. <laughs> Stop! I can tell you something about Gallifrey. Hmm? What? Closer. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you said you were the last of the Time Lords, right? And what? Good. That means I can finish the job. What job? This one. No! Let him go! Now, now, now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I am the master, and you will obey me. You know this area well, don't you? Yes. It's where you've been hiding since I burnt your planet. Yes. Take me to coordinates 973 Delta 15. Why do you want to go there? I have a meeting with someone who's desperate to meet me. Now take me there and I'll spare his life. If I take you there, you promise me he'll live. I give you my word. How long until we get there? In a moment. It's down there. Really? Oh, well that was much easier than expected. Now let him go. Hmm. Bye bye! <laughs> Any last words? Gotta get out of here! Oh, a teleport. What dirty, dirty cheats. <sighs> Look, 
You need to listen to me. I'm here by mistake. Wait, what do you mean? I was just in 16th century England with the doctor. But how is that possible? The black hole and antimatter energy must have created a crack in time and Jenna must have fell through. You can't have just been with her. I've been with her for the past five weeks. No, you don't understand. Not her. A different doctor. My doctor. Look, I'll take it from the top. Here we are, Jenna, the 16th century. Can you smell that? The smell of birds in the sky, dew on the grass, oh, and a hint of chamber pot. You can smell birds in the sky. No, of course I can. I'm the doctor. My nose has special powers. <laughs> is that why your nose is so big? Oi! You should be singing my praises. Without me, your 16th century history essay on the witch trials would be nah. I could always just use Wikipedia. You can't replace me with Wikipedia. It's full of nonsense and... Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Doctor, what is that? What do they teach you in universities nowadays? That's clearly an antimatter black hole. God shall swallow up the earth through this cavity in the sky. <gasps> he shall forgive your <gasps> sins. Hear ye! God shall swallow up the earth through the gates. Hear oh, ye! Excuse me! Hear ye, hear ye! He's talking to you! The end is nigh. This is the work of none more than a witch. No, a no, foul. this is the work of human stupidity. Right, you lot, go home and bathe in your own urine or whatever. We have this under control. Do we? Probably. Excuse me. You cannot usurp my position like that. My family and I have been the town criers of this church and village for the past 300 years and will continue to do so until the bloodline dies out. That's wonderful. But what is going on here? Don't speak to me like that, feeble woman. All I've seen is a preposterously large hole in the sky. Well, that's incredibly unhelpful. And don't call me feeble. Strange clever woman said she was in control of this thing. She's a witch? <gasps> exactly. I mean, did you see her magic wand? <sighs> Precisely! Come on, troops! What are they muttering about? You know how you really wanted an accurate depiction of 16th century witch trials? Yeah. Well, today's your lucky day. Get out! <laughs> Oh my Christ! <laughs> look, 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 she is not a witch. I'm not a witch! That's exactly what a witch would say! Oh, well, that's flawless logic. Hand over the witch! Hand her over, or I'll cut her into tiny little pieces. I don't think that's a good idea. Well then, on guard! Not right now, Jenna. Look, you lot, she is not a witch. Hang on, but she's... She's just gone. Witch! And, well, that's how I ended up here. This is awfully confusing. Look, there's a black hole both in here and in the 16th century. The two are linked together. What happens is they've created a weak point in both space and in time, and somehow Jenna has kind of Psst! Wait! Psst! Get over it! Wait, shouldn't we? No. I've been given strict instructions to deliver this message specifically to you. So, who gave you these instructions? A man. A man called the Doctor. Come along. Do I know you? You look really, like, familiar. 
I don't know, I just sell the papers around here. My family's provided Coventry its news for generations. My great-great ancestors were town criers, you see. Wait, hang on. That means Here that we you're... are. The magnificent blue box. The TARDIS! The what this? The TARDIS. It's the Doctor's time-travelling machine. Now, where are the instructions that the Doctor gave you? Read this. Put setting 42 on the sonic screwdriver and point at the TARDIS. The TARDIS will then return to me in the 16th century and I'll be able to join you in the present day. Okay, so where is the sonic screwdriver? Ah, I presume you mean this magic wand thing. You know, to be quite honest, I'm surprised that that plan actually works. I mean, after seeing your ancestors, I had absolutely no faith that you'd managed to do this, but here we are. <coughs> no, Doctor, that's rude. Yes, um, thank you. Um, no problem. I still don't understand what I did. But my TARDIS, it's, it's gone. You again. Sorry to interrupt. Um, you couldn't possibly be referring to the peculiar blue box. Yeah. I'm ve very sorry, but it's, it's long gone. What do you mean, gone? Gone where? Yes, well, it's disappeared, hasn't it? It was, it was acquiesced into God's heavenly gateway. Brilliant. No TARDIS, no Jenna. How am I going to get her back? Right, hang on. You said that your family were going to be the town criers of this city for years to come? Oh, yes, centuries to come. Brilliant. I have a little job for you. Look, it's pretty simple, really. I just told your great, great, great ancestors to pass that screwdriver and that set of instructions down the generations until it arrived with my friend Jenna in the present day. Got it. Probably. Hang on a second. You two have a black hole here as well. Oh, yeah, and... Hello? Anybody home? <sighs> well, you summoned me here, so you can at least have the common decency to show up. <laughs> so young, so inexperienced. <laughs> that weapon, so <laughs> classic. Who are you? What do you want? Oh, and the beard. <laughs> I'd forgotten about the beard. Who are you? Take a guess. Look at me. Look at me! Take a good long look at this bone structure, because one day you're going to be rocking it. Oh, great. You're not, are you? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm you. I'M THE MASTER! <laughs> to narrow it down, I'm from about 300 years in the future. Well, that's brilliant. But why'd you call me here? Uh, I didn't. You called me here, didn't you? No. No, I didn't. Wait. What if it's a... What if it's a trap? What if we're about to be killed? Slaughtered, beaten to a pulp. <laughs> 
Sorry, boys. Hope I'm not dampening the mood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chuckle Brothers, quieten down. Who are you? Why did you summon us here? Shouldn't be jumping to conclusions now, should we? Never learn. Always so brash. Never thinking things through. I asked you a question. Who are you? Now, now, boys. Quieten down, one at a time. I'm Missy. Short for mistress. <sighs> Wait, so you're me as well? A, a future incarnation? Precisely. I'm from... 302 years into your future. No, 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 you're not. I am. Oh yeah, silly me. Got my time and dates all muddled up. I meant to say 400 years into your future. <sighs> Great. Well, I guess you weren't the person to summon us here then? Well then who did? out. Jenna! And... Oh, I should have mentioned... Mentioned what? Hello. Hang on, who are these people? Oh, come on! Look. Right, no, no, don't tell me. You've got sunglasses, a scarf, and a very fashionable long coat. I could have guessed. You're my fans! Well, lovely to meet you, but I don't have time for an autograph. I'm not your fan, I'm you! Okay, you're my biggest fan. No, I'm not! Look, it's nothing to be ashamed of. If I saw a dashing young time traveller going about the city, I'd be a fan of him as well. Doctor! Yes! Oh, you meant you... I'm you from the future. Huh. Well, I can see my fashion sense hasn't improved. Well... I don't wear these glasses as frequently anymore. But you were just wearing them. I put them on because it was sunny. You put them on because you think it's cool. I don't think it's cool. I know it's oh, cool. Shut, shut up. up, both of you. We need to figure out who's behind this madness. That looks no different. It's just trees. Where are we? Antimatter. We are in an antimatter universe. Ah! Oh, there you are, big fella. What? There are three of you? Great. Well, I'm glad to hear you've mastered the basic skill of addition. I summoned just one person here. The Master. Well, technically, there's only one person here. Your time scoop must be faulty. <laughs> Just me, myself and I. Ah, I see. Three incarnations of the same Time Lord. Oh, well done, Sherlock. Mock me once more and you shall face my wrath. Understood. Well, you know who we are? Whom do we have the pleasure of speaking to? You really don't recognize me. No. Should I? Madness and pure idiocy. That's what they said. That's what they called my life's work. Yeah. Still not getting it. The only Time Lord to harness the power of a black hole to create time travel itself. I am Omega. Yes, I had a hunch it was you. <laughs> the black holes were a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> I am happy to serve at your side. You are wise. I have a task for you. And I suppose having three of you will get this process moving quicker. What process? Bring me the doctor. But what's in it for me? Yeah, why should we help you? Once the process is complete, I shall allow you powers beyond your comprehension. 
You can rule over Gallifrey, over time itself. Okay, but why don't you just get the Doctor yourself? I am trapped in this antimatter universe. If I leave, then I die. That's why I need your help. Now listen, you will go to Earth and retrieve the Doctor. We will not fail you. Why don't I stay here with you? I can stay as backup if the Chuckle Brothers here mess up, which wouldn't surprise me. Then I can go in and extract the doctor myself. Well, what makes Missy so special? I'm more experienced than you. I know the doctor inside out. Wait, what's that in the sky? I don't know, but it, it's headed that way. You made me need this. Where'd you get that from? Got it from you. Right, put it away. Words solve wars, not guns. Shouldn't we be, you know? Yeah, good point. Well, which one of you is the Doctor, then? Well, come on. It's got to be one of you. That's the trouble with regeneration. It's always tricky finding out who's who. If you haven't already guessed, it's me, the Master. What? Both of you? Yes, both of us. And I've got a third incarnation, for if you try any funny business. What do you want? We want the Doctor to come with us. Simple enough, right? Okay, and what if the Doctor refuses? You see that black hole up there? We can make it swallow this entire stinking planet. Killing all your little silly stupid pet humans. So, which one of you is the Doctor? I'm the Doctor. No, I'm the Doctor. No, no, I, I'm, I'm the Doctor. No, I'm... All right, Spartacus, calm down. What's in that notepad? Just my uni work, essays and stuff. Throw it here. Why? Just go. There's some weird temporal energy surrounding this book. To err uh, is human, and to forgive is divine. How sanctimonious is that? It's probably. Look, I'm the... Did you just kill him? No, no. He's just trapped in a black hole. Consider that a... a warning shot. <laughs> okay, it's me. Take me, leave my friend alone. Good, good. You two run along. Look, are you sure about this? Trust me. <laughs> oh, we're carrying on. <laughs> Doctor, where are we going? I'm going to follow them in my TARDIS, and you are going to stay here where it's safe. No, I'm coming with you. No, it's too dangerous. Look, I'm not going to let you do this. Right, go to this address. I'll come and pick you up once this is all over. That's not fair. Look, the Master is one of my oldest and greatest adversaries, and if there's three incarnations of them running around the place, it's not safe. Go to that address and wait for me. Fine. Doctor? What? I don't do hugs. Well, this might be the last time you ever see me. 
Right, it's gonna be fine. I'll see you later. See, Missy, we didn't fail. I never doubted you. We have her. No hassle, no fuss. We've got her. Excellent work. But wait, this is not the doctor I was expecting. Sorry to disappoint you. I'll be heading off then. I was expecting a man with a quiff and a large nose. Your black holes aren't very reliable, are they? First you summon three of the same Time Lords, and then you summon the wrong incarnation. It matters not. You shall do. Who are you, and why do you need me? Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Black holes, antimatter universe, unreliable time travel, and a messed up face. Omega! Stop this wittering! That's what I'm best at, wittering. But that's beside the point. What do you need me for? Too long have I waited. Too long have I stayed in the dark. I wish for nothing more than to leave this antimatter universe and walk upon Gallifrey once more. Well, we both know that can't happen. <laughs> oh, it can. And it will. <laughs> Toodles, Doctor. Sounds like your time's up. Sorry, what am I missing here? Whose time's up? Yours, Doctor. Only one of us can leave this antimatter universe, and it shan't be you. Ah, but where would they have taken her, right? Would they go to Gallifrey? No, 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 no. Clom, no, no one wants to go to Clom. Oh, I know what I can do. Contact. 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 Hello, Doctor. Hello. We don't have too much time. I've opened up this mental communication channel so that we can talk. You really need a haircut. Well, that's hardly relevant right now. Look, Omega and the Masters have just imprisoned me, and I've lost my Sonic. We need a plan. Omega! That's much, much worse than I first thought. We need to figure something out quickly. Come on, there's two of us now. We should be thinking twice as fast. OK, I'll track your location, meet you there, cause some form of distraction, you know, get them arguing amongst each other, and in the hubbub that's caused, we can escape. What? Is that the best you've got? It's sad to think about, but the only person the Master hates more than us is himself. They'll be arguing for hours. That's quite risky. True, true, but it is the best we've got. How are you going to find me, though? I don't even know where I am. I'll use my sonic sunglasses to track you. See, they're not so silly after all, are they? Believe me. I know. You've got to admit, they are quite cool. Sorry. Need to go. I'll see you soon. Right, Skeletor, sorry to halt the dramatics, but when am I getting this unlimited power you were talking about? When the process is complete and I return to your universe. Yeah, great. But when's that going to be? Soon. Oi, bone brain, over here. You know, you lot are so naive. What? Who? Doctor! When did you get here? <sighs> bone dead stupid, the lot of you. Get it like bone. Never mind. Are you talking to me? Yes, you lot. Stop right there. Omega isn't on your side. He'll take what he wants and leave you for dead. No, do not believe their lies. Uh, he's going to betray you. Well, no, no, no. Who says we're not going to betray him? Yeah, who says we're not going to double cross Omega? Stop! Don't you see? They are trying to turn us against each other. Hold them. The process shall begin. What process? 
I shall take your regenerations, Doctor, thus allowing me to walk upon your universe once more. Even if you took my regenerations, you wouldn't have enough energy to form a new body. Oh, but he does! If a younger version of the Doctor is killed, that creates a paradox, and Omega will feed off that. Precisely! Combine the regenerations with the paradox energy, and I shall become a god. But you can't! That's a paradox that would tear this universe apart! Nothing that a Time Lord of my status couldn't fix. Uh, look, look, you won't kill me. Come on, I know you, you know me, we've known each other for years. You're not gonna kill me, are you? That's always been your downfall, hasn't it, Doctor? You're just too confident. Shoot him! Look, come on, think it through. Is it done? Did it work? While you heal yourself, why don't we have a bit of fun? What fun? We should go back down to Earth and kill the Doctor's friends. <laughs> 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 Hello? Is anyone home? Is this the Lethbridge Stewart household? I can see you. I know you're there. Go away. No cold caller. I'm not a cold caller. It's about Sam. I was sent by the doctor. Do you know the doctor? Doctor? Doctor who? I think you better come on in. On you two. What? When we find the Doctor's friends, how are we planning on killing them? Oh, that's a very good question. <laughs> we need something slow, painful. <laughs> how about cyber conversion? Well, that's a little bit overdone, don't you think? Uh, we need something new, fresh. What about tissue compression? It's a classic. I like the sound of that! Oh, you two! You never learn, do you? What are you so jolly about? It's always the same old, same old with you pair! Same old what? Do you have a better idea on how to kill them? No! We're not going to kill them! What are you talking about? Well, I thought I'd take a page out of your book, Master. You always did like the over-the-top theatrical reveals. Do I grow senile in my old age? How should I know? Because you're me, from the future. <laughs> Who told you that? You did. <laughs> exactly. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm the Doctor.
So, let me get this straight. Sam's been trapped in a black hole by an alien. Called the Master. Mm. The name rings a bell. Our granddad used to tell us stories about the Master. He is safe. He is safe. The doctor promised he'd get him out alive. I told Sam not to go with the doctor, but he insisted that if Granddad went with him and Mum went with him, then he should too. So, Sam is your... Brother. Little brother. He always was Mum's favourite, probably because he reminded her of Granddad. So why do you travel with the doctor? with my uni work. Having a friend that's got a time machine when you're a history student is quite lucky. <laughs> I only got involved in this whole thing because of this stupid essay. What, you travel with him because he teaches you stuff? No, it's not just that. He's my friend. But why does he travel with you? He's my friend. Is he? Or are you just one in a long line of replaceable humans? Don't say that! I've seen it with my dad, my mum, and now my brother. He left them all behind, and now he's left you here. Who says he's coming back? But he said he'd come back. Well, why didn't he take you with him today? Because he wanted to keep me safe. Well, if you want to tell yourself that, feel free. What's going on? Perimeter has been scanned. No danger detected. Perimeter has been scanned. No danger detected. Well done, K9. Good boy. Affirmative, Doctor. Jenna! Who are you? H how do you know me? It's me. I'm the Doctor. Don't mind if I do, do you? Uh, uh, have you regenerated? Uh, no, not quite. I'll get to that in a minute. You must be Daisy, Daisy Lethbridge-Stewart. I've never met you before. No, but I know an awful lot about you. You're Sam's sister. He talks an awful lot about you. What's going on? Ah, uh, yes. This is where it gets a bit tricky. Get up! Get up! Get up for his seat! Get up! Oh, the doctor got away. Didn't she? Yes. Now, quick. Come with me. Where are we going? Back to Earth? No, the Doctor's friends are irrelevant! I've got a plan. We'll go back to Omega. That's what led up to this point. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, no, not really. You haven't explained where you came from. When Omega created that paradox, it broke the very fabric of time. It's like a very big explosion. Bam! What happens after an explosion? Lots of dead people? Well, yes, but that's not the answer I was looking for. Try to be a little bit more optimistic, Daisy. There's a loud noise? Yes! What does that loud noise create? Echoes. Exactly. That's me. I'm an echo. Sorry, what? When the initial paradox happened, it ruptured time, creating an echo doctor. I like that. The echo doctor. But you said the paradox never really happened. You didn't kill the doctor, did you? No, of course I didn't. It looked like I killed him, but all I did was temporarily put him to sleep. Now what we have to do is find him and wake him up. So, if you didn't actually kill the doctor, why did the paradox happen? And why didn't the old you disappear? She didn't. I teleported her away, giving Omega the illusion that she disappeared. All I have to do is press this button and she'll teleport back to where she disappeared. If there was no paradox, you can't exist. No, I can't. I shouldn't exist. After this whole event is over, time will reset and... I'll 
all be wiped from time. But let's not dwell on the depressing things. We need to focus on fixing this situation. How do you know all that? Like, I know you're clever, but you can't know all that. I have this. <laughs> but that's my history essay. It was your history essay, but you wrote out exactly what I need to know here on this page. A clear set of instructions. But I haven't done that yet. Look, nothing there. Haven't written it yet. You better start writing. What you write now is given to me in the future. My past. Your future. Right, any more questions or should we set off? Set off where? Back. To the future. Daisy, are you coming? No, just bring my brother back safe. I'll get him back. I promise. The paradox energy. The process cannot be complete. There must be another way. I could still survive. Hello, hello, hello! Is this thing working? We need to see you, like now. We've had a minor problem. When he says minor, he means major. No, shut up! Meet me on Gallifrey in the Death Zone. See you soon. So did I. Hang on. Wait. Right, get back. What? No, no, don't worry, it's me. I'm the doctor. But, no, hang on. Wait, I thought she was Missy, the master. No, she was pretending to be the master. Hang on, just wait a minute. What is going on? Right, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. We've got some bad news. Or even worse news. Neil. Lower. Lower. <laughs> what news do you bring? You know, Missy, she wasn't Missy. What? <sighs> she was the doctor. What? And she escaped. You let her escape. It wasn't my fault. You let her escape. But I have a proposition. A bargain, if you will. What bargain could you offer me? Take my form. Take my body. You could have at least bought him a drink first. Join with me, take my consciousness, and then you can walk this universe once more. Don't I get a say in this? Shut up! What is my future you're ruining? It's my present! My present to you. Begin the process. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> so you are me. Yes, I am. Aren't you a little, you know, short? I big nose. My nose isn't even that big. <laughs> yes, it is. Right, stop arguing with yourselves. Yeah, you lot, come on, listen to Jenna. We need to get out of here. We need to find Omega before he does any more damage. This is where Omega said he would return. It's also what Jenna wrote down. It is? Yes. Now write it down. It's all well and good us being here, but where's Omega? It's like a needle in a haystack. Well, we best start looking then. Got it. Follow me. It was burnt to the ground. Not many Time Lords survived. Who would do such a thing? Take a guess. The Master! The Master! You called? Hello, my pretties. Take us to Omega now! Ooh, so once we've gotten their manners... Right, we don't have time for this. Oh, look, all right, I'm here of my own free will, OK? What? Look, Omega's merged with my future self. He's regaining power as we speak. But that's... Unstable and stupid, I know. But that's why I need you to help me stop him. Fine, explain on the way. <laughs> Hand over the master! He shall pay for his crimes! Okay, who are they? <laughs> oh, just some old friends. They don't look like friends! Stay where you are! The course of justice will not be prevented. <laughs> <laughs> Compensating for something? You can talk. Shoot. He will pay for his crime. Lower your weapons. I can kill him! Right here! Right now! But you aren't going to kill him, are you? He's killed all of our people. He's unforgivable. Look, he's here to help us. We need him alive. Oh, all right, all right. Bleeding hell. What's with the sudden change of heart? Why are you helping them now? I'm not helping them. Well, I am. But not because I want to. Because I'm trying to save myself. My future self. You keep saying you can help us. But how can you help us? I can take you to Omega. Well, my future self and Omega. Type the coordinates into here and they can go. How stupid do you think I am? If I give them the coordinates, you'll kill me. 
No, they won't. Lower your weapons. No, I watched my family die at his hands. You'll get your revenge, I promise. But right now, we need him alive. Thank you for your help. Promise me you'll stop Omega. We'll do our best. Well then, away we go. What now? We must search the universe for any more Time Lord survivors. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. The cavalry have arrived. Don't go anywhere. Look, we just want to talk. And why should I talk to you? I stand here at the heart of Gallifrey, both its creator and its destroyer. I hold the universe at my fingertips. Oh, and you'll have unlimited power and unlimited rice pudding, etc, etc. We've heard it all before. Omega, or the Master, to whom do we have the pleasure of speaking to? <laughs> we are one in the same now. Our energies are bonded together. A perfect blend of chaos and order. Like, like a hybrid. You don't think? Are you not at all angered by the destruction of your life's work? Not at all. Joining with the master has allowed me to see the hypocrisy and corruption of Gallifrey as it was. He did me a favor. He wiped the slate clean. Taking thousands of innocent lives in the process. It was worth it in the end. For the greater good. What greater good? Gallifrey is gone. But that is only the beginning. I shall wipe the universe clean, rebuilding it in my image. Everyone shall obey me. But you can't. That's insane. Just let people have free choice. Why, they won't need it. They will not be corrupt nor foolish. They shall be the master race. This is ridiculous. Master, if there's any of you left in there, please think this through. Don't let Omega win. I control everything. I am a god! You're no god. Your mind is warped beyond comprehension. I mean, how would you even go about creating this new universe? These new people? They will be perfect! So they'll be slaves? Robots? Silence, you fools! No free will. No emotions. You didn't think this through, did you? If I... Not now, Jenna! No. Actually, sorry, go on. A man called... Alexander Pope once said, To err is human. Now, I know that seems redundant, since... None of you are human. But the point still stands. To err is Time Lord. People need to make mistakes to truly be people. The chaos in this universe is what makes it so wonderful. Don't you see that? Omega. Master? No, I'm... I'm... That's what you want, isn't it? You want to be alive again. You know, I think you've been stuck in that antimatter universe for so long, you've forgotten what it's like to live. That antimatter universe allowed me to think. To think about the pain and destruction of your universe. I will be the one to end it. To end it all. Starting with you! Wait, before you kill us, there was one last thing that Alexander Pope said. To err is human. And to forgive, forgive is, divine. is divine. It's important that they are forgiven. It's not too late to stop this. It is. No one can stop me now! I can. You're my future. What? I'll use your own plan against you. If I kill myself, you can't exist. Stay right there! You can't stop me! What are you gonna do? Kill me! One more thing. Am I forgiven? Always. 
No, no, stop this now! No! See? Wasn't so brush after all. Did think things through. Yes. Yes, you did. Oh. And one more thing. Hello again. Time. Time. Stand back! Good heavens! Are you alright? My time has run out. I'm only an echo. And the echo is fading. I'm glad that's all sorted then. Now that we've closed all the black holes, the timeline should fix itself soon enough. It'll be nice to see everything back to normal. Oh, and did you notice I got the haircut you were suggesting? What do you think? Hmm, I don't like it. Oh, you never do. Jenna, Sam, Daisy. The fam. Hello. Hello, doctor, doctors. I did it. Uh, did what? I finished my history essay. She didn't just finish your history essay, she got full marks. Well, 99%. Well, it's close enough. Full marks sounds better anyway. Well, well done, done, Jenna! Right, come on, this way. Boiling. You two really are the same person. Well, of course we are, but you know, my fashion sense is clearly far superior. So, where have you two been? Back to Gallifrey. Again? Yes, we've helped rebuild the Citadel and find any Time Lord survivors, and you know, as we usually do, give them a helping hand. Or two! Or technically, I suppose, four helping hands. Well, I mean, it, it, it technically is four, isn't it? It's up to the surviving Time Lords now. Hopefully they can figure something out. Fingers crossed they'll be able to take Gallifrey back to its glory days. We were reading our granddad's journal. He always said he wished that Master Chap would turn good again. Glad he got his wish. Even if it was a last minute decision. And it's all thanks to Jenna. Well, it wasn't all me. I mean, luckily the Master was in two minds. Quite literally. You're not funny. You certainly gave him a big push to do the right thing. I mean, it's like I've always said, words solve wars. I really should have started listening to you humans a lot earlier than I did. I told you we weren't all stupid. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to the other doctor? The Echo Doctor? She's gone. The Echo faded. She's right. Soon the timelines will converge and everything will be reset. Nothing more than a distant memory. So, where did she come from? It's quite complicated. We don't really know. I suppose when the universe is in dire straits, it creates its own doctor. <laughs> well, that certainly would be nice. I mean, it would make my job a lot easier. Well, I guess it's goodbye then. Well, goodbye for you maybe, but I'll be seeing you again. You won't be seeing me again though. Sorry to interrupt. Don't be sorry. Jenna, I just wanted to apologize for the things I said to you back at my house. Don't worry about it. And I'm sorry, Doctors, that I didn't trust you. Thank you. 
For what? Bringing my brother back to me safely. I don't know where I'd be without him. How now? Don't get too soppy. Thank you. <sighs> well, see you then. You know, it's nice to know that my future's in safe hands. Come on, Jenna. Bye, Daisy. Bye, Bye dear. Hope the unicorns goes well. Thanks. Oh, Doctor. Yes. Thank you. Come on, Jenna. You can say no, Daisy, but how do you fancy a good old trip in the box? Really? No, she'll cramp my style. What style? Oh, come on, you two. To the TARDIS. Come with us. Does that all make sense? Well, yeah, I just follow the instructions in the book, right? Precisely. But what happens after all this? Well, after all that, you've reached the end, the Echo's end. My next line is about antimatter. I have no idea what that means. Yes. Find retribution in the gates of heaven. Here ye. <laughs> oh my god. We'll just see if we can get the spin. Damn it, I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> this castle has a rich military history. Henry VIII was said to have beheaded a man here. And that's it. Doctor? <laughs> Laser. Yeah, come on. Jim Radcliffe, your EP sucks. Oh, oh. action. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> doctor, doctor, I feel like a pair of friends. I feel sick like a pair of friends. You know what I mean? Pull yourself, Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. Type. Oh, shit. Type. No, no, no. Type. Never told me to move. No, the green screen Let's is do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Always trying to